Hey, welcome to Hannah Mouth. We know being broke sucks, and we make it suck less. Hey, uh, do you know what to feed a wild badger? Well, I, I fed it some Tic Tacs, but that just seemed to make it hungrier. Why? Oh, I'm starting a farm. It's the perfect way to save money. Fresh badger milk, badger meat, mm -hmm. badger... Milk? Okay, and you realize badgers have rabies. That's what we in the business call seasoning? Right. Uh, alternative pitch. How about a farmyard favorite that's cheap, common, and endlessly flexible? Eggs. Badger eggs? That's not how science... <laughs> Never mind. Great thing about eggs, they are easy. Put egg in water. Boil water. Turn off heat, wait 10 minutes. Food! A cheap, easy way to get a good dose of protein. Mr. Bidey doesn't eat hard-boiled eggs. Too heavy. Badgers eat pretty much everything. Not if they're gonna win the blue ribbon at the state fair. Wait, how much is that ribbon worth? About a grand. Well, let's fan that badger up! Now you're talking! How about scrambled eggs? Delicious if you can't avoid overcooking. Hey, I appreciate the soft texture of rubber. Now, if you want to do this right, get yourself a nice non-stick pan. Put it on the hot plate and coat it with a little oil. Whisk your eggs for about two minutes. You want to get some air bubbles trapped in there to make the scramble nice and fluffy. Lower the heat and add the egg. Let the egg start to set and then push it around with a spatula, shoving the curds to one side and letting the uncooked part spread over the pan. Boom! Now, scrambled eggs are a great way to get rid of leftovers. Herbs, veggies, meat, they can all be mixed in. Just warm your additions in the pan before you add the egg. Mr. Bitey can't eat scrambled eggs. He's a badger. He can't use a fork. Read a book. Fine. Maybe Mr. Bitey would like something more portable. Whisk your eggs like you did with the scramble, and once again, coat the bottom of your pan with butter or oil. Now, when the pan gets hot, pour in the eggs. This is where you have to be careful. You're waiting for the bottom of the eggs to set. When the bottom has set, push the edge of the egg to the center to let that liquid stuff run underneath. Keep doing that until there's no liquid left. Then, gently flip the egg and cook for a few more seconds. Fold over, and you have an omelet. But how does that help with the portability issue? Get two slices of bread. Boom! Omelet on the go! Perfect! Isn't nature beautiful? Oh, I can't wait to raise Mr. Bidey. To love him, care for him. Let him win us groceries for a year. Then snap his neck, rip his heart out, carve him into steaks and eat a medium rare. Ah, the circle of life. <sighs> Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed our latest episode of Hand to Mouth. If you in love it, you should come check out our Kickstarter running right now and ending January 14th. Link in the description, check it out, we'll make more eggs for you. What if you were going to miss it?